There are 13,000 farms in my district. Uh, so listening to Farm Bureau, and of course Farm Bureau takes care of the farmers better than any organization, represents them better than any organization uh, in the state of Tennessee. So getting to sit down with farmers, and hear their issues, share what's going on at the federal level is, uh, I mean, it's, it's just essential part of the job. I think the overall message is we understand what inflation is doing to them and to their price, their cost of doing, uh, you know, producing. Um, and we're working very hard to get the administration to, to do what's necessary to fix both the, uh, you know, the energy supply crisis as well as the price, you know, the inflation crisis. Our farmers are the backbone of our communities in all of my 11 counties. Uh, then we look to the great state of Tennessee. All 95 counties, farmers are doing great work. I want to hear what our farmers are facing every day so that I can work to do what they need done. When I vote, I look to the Tennessee Farm Bureau and to our farmers in Tennessee for guidance on that vote because farmers live it every day. I really come to fall in love with, with the American farmer and the way they and the way they raise their families. And fuel, of course, fuel costs affect the farmer, and of course, fertilizer costs are going through the roof, and that's going to affect the farmer, and that's going to affect the ability to get it to the table and being able to afford to do that. I try to focus on on what I can do to fix the, help fix the problem. I know I'm not going to be the only solution, but I I feel like I am making an impact through legislation and my votes. We really do rely on the folks to tell us what they need because when you're in the Beltway you hear certain things, you get back home you hear a lot of different things and that, that's what really matters to me is that I represent the people who have those concerns. People are, are wide awake and concerned. Times are tough right now. All the costs for about anything that goes into farming is up and except maybe the, uh, the return on investment. And so the, the farm bill is kind of unique in that it is a five-year bill. A lot of things there are one year, two year. There, there's not too many bills that uh, uh, have this much emphasis placed on them. So getting this right is really important. And uh, I think we had a good one back in 2012, 2013. And, and there's, you know, you never get it completely right. But we're going to do our very best to take the input from uh, groups just like this and try to draft the very best piece of legislation we can to make the you know, things more viable. For the people that think food just comes from a grocery store they need to come to one of these meetings and, and see the struggles that it takes to bring that food to the table and the relationship with the Farm Bureau and putting together meetings like this really helps us shape and drive the policy. I work hard every day to, to try to make sure I'm doing everything I can to stand up for American agriculture and our Tennessee farmers are hold a special place in my heart. I listen carefully to what Farm Bureau is saying and try in every way I can to advance uh, you know, policies and issues that are important to Tennessee agriculture.